Hey, how's everybody doing? Hello. What's up, what's up, Cut? Not much. Hey, what's up, Pat? Hey, hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? Y'all getting used to this seven o'clock time, I see. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I called a reminder keep today. Everybody don't know your secret. I was responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that call, though. <laughs> hey, um, quick question before we before we get going. What what's going on with the with the um with the, the thread on our communication thread? It looks like a bunch of people. Is that just on my end? Did you guys opt out and then get back in or it looked like Muffin took over as the um host? And I'm like Yeah, hey, it's divided. Know. I got two threads all of a sudden. Did somebody do something or was what happened? Anybody got any information? All I can say is it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't you, DK, huh? Wasn't me. If anything, we can just delete the second thread as it's only been communicated in like once. Hey, what's weird though is like if you if you text that first thread, it's only when they respond back that it's broke up. It's yeah, weird. It's, the, it's the the original thread. I guess everybody can tell. I don't have to tell you guys what the original thread is. You can you can look and see. Um, I think Dello sent something about that the guy with the hot mic. Yeah, um, I got that. I got yeah. that. Yeah. Was it Dello sent that? Genetics. Yeah. yeah. Those uh, stocks that were having um having the earnings week. Yeah. So I got that. The thread. You guys delete that other thread and focus on the original thread. Because I think Muffin Muffin asked about the meeting on one thread, and I was like, wait a minute, I only got eight people on that thread. Yeah, you got chopped up some type of way. Um, all right, well, I'm going to add everybody back into the original one, and then we just stay on the original one. I'm going to delete the old one, the, the second one. Mm -hmm. Anybody watch um anybody watch 44 do the eulogy today on um John John Lewis? I had to, man. I had to. Yeah. Yeah, I caught a little bit of that was a good post, Dennis. Boy, I tell you. I watched the whole thing, as a matter of fact. I'm sitting up here a grown man trying not to cry, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. I wish I, I'm gonna have to catch up on it. I was only able to listen to it out yeah. of the field. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I caught uh, a little bit of it at lunchtime. I taped it. Uh, who 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 did it? Uh, you, Zee Obama. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah. I was I was uh pretty busy today, but I'm gonna give uh Chuck, I guess, a second here. But I do I do have a hard stop at seven. But y'all feel more than welcome to fellowship after that. Okay. You still in training and work? Uh, yep. Bro, sad news. Herman Cain passed away messing around with that COVID, huh? Yeah. yeah. I see that, yeah. Yeah, don't that's come. crazy. I don't, I don't wish no harm on nobody in this world, but sometimes you put yourself in positions, man, and you have Hanging to out at a rally. Yeah. yeah. What do yeah. you say? Play stupid games, get stupid prizes? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was thinking in my head. I didn't want to yeah. say it, though, but. <laughs> yeah, who was that senator or congressman they called it? Oh, he bro. never did wear a mask. And then he said the reason yeah. he called it because he was wearing a mask. Because he was That's, taking it off. Yeah. It was Louis, Louis Gohmert from Texas. The yeah, he's, a, he's an idiot. Yeah. Man. <laughs> he's, he's nuts anyhow, man. Yeah, yeah, he is. I saw him on uh, yeah. Joy, what Joy did with the readout, man. And when they came back from his. His statement, the panel just looked at each other. It was like a pregnant pause. You didn't have to say nothing. Uh, I was going to start off today with, uh, I've been following Nicola since uh, 
half of my friends and family have invested uh, their life savings in, into that company. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, so Tony, don't shake your head. It ain't, it ain't all bad, man. Uh, yeah, it is. It is, man. <laughs> Nah, so we gonna get you. We gonna get you right back on track. So I was thinking, right? So I'll need you all to participate in this little exercise because I don't know where everybody where everybody is. But this Nicola, and then I'm gonna check in with you too, Obasi, to see what you've been up to. I know you started uh, last week was your first full week, and uh, I believe you did something this week with the help of Drill and Jeanette. So. Uh, just want to check in with you, but I'm gonna start with this Nicola, right? Cause I I had to, you maybe maybe we need to level set right quick. So I noticed that like a lot of people, and it's a lot of busy work, probably not a lot of profit, but a lot of busy busy hitting the buttons, right? So everybody's hitting buttons and pushing buttons. But what I was gonna suggest is those. Um, Come on, where is it at? Do -do -do. Pull you over here so I can see. All right, so is this Nicola? Yep. Okay, yep. Yeah. 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 All right, so what I would what I would suggest with Nicola possibly is it's still so volatile, like it's very volatile. Uh, mm -hmm. There's articles out there now that they're taking orders. Um, me personally, as an investor, I would try to see who's placing those orders just to see if you can figure out, you know, account, uh, if these companies are, are reputable, like a UPS or a FedEx is ordering these vehicles. Or there's a, I know Amazon got a commercial that say that they ordered 400 vehicles or 400 plus vehicles, but they didn't give a name of where they're picking these up from. So I'm kind of, it, it may be Nicola, it may be uh, uh, Helion, but they didn't say. So we know it's not Tesla, we do know that. Um, that in, in this situation, I would maybe go out two or three weeks, uh, Tony, just so I, I don't, I, did the shares get put to you like what, 20, what, 36? Uh, I had two strikes, I had a... I had a 35 and 37 strike. 35, 37. Okay. Let me do all. Because, mm -hmm. like, we, we all just got into the race doing weeklies. But when these type of things happen, it may be best if you just came out here and put it at a – just go ahead and put it at a, at, a, at a 36. Put it two weeks out so that you're not doing a whole lot of busy work, right? You're going to get your premiums. But you don't have to sit there and be watching the ticker every five seconds. So this was this will allow you to kind of have some 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 of your time back, where you don't have to sit there and just constantly watch it week in and week out. You can just go out a couple weeks. You got what nine hundred shares. Go ahead and grab your nine hundred bucks, or if you feel comfortable, because remember this too: every dollar you collect, your break-even point changes. So you don't you don't basically have to get dollar for dollar. So for me, two weeks out, I'll grab it at a one, at a one seventy at a thirty five strike, and even if I get called on the shares, I'm still not at a loss because I'm I'm grabbing the one seventy. So even if they even if they got so you got paid to get the shares put to you, so you you already collected that money there, right? Yeah. Then you're just gonna go two weeks out, put it at a thirty five and collect 170 times nine, and I'll just sit there. I'll just hold it. I'll just wait to see what happens at that point. That way you're not sitting there trying to see every week, right? You'll go in and you, and you, and you, then you start playing the busy game where you sitting here and you're going to try to get the 35 at 35 here, uh, 35, 36, I mean, it says $75. Mm -hmm. So even if you did 75 times three, what would that be? That's a 150, that's 225. So basically, if, you do it, if you're doing it at the 35 or 36 here, basically you pay yourself to stay busy. But if you just want to give yourself a little time, you can go all the way out to uh, two weeks or, or, you know, three weeks or whatever 
and put it at a 35, 36 strike and kind of just let see what the market is going to do. That way you don't have to, you don't have to sit there and be panicking about what's going on. You ain't got nothing but time. And I, I wanted to, I wanted to reiterate that to everybody on the call. So the premiums in the beginning was so good. Everybody based what they were doing off of the premiums. So what happens is if the stock goes down and you start looking at your at your uh, balance in your mind your mind is telling you oh, i'm losing but as long mm -hmm. as you're collecting that premium and you wait till that stock comes back they call it retracement once that stock retrace then you're going to see all those premiums that you have been collecting all that time so there's there's really no need to run or panic or hide from it don't, there's no need to jump out and just be like, oh, I'm going to accept the loss. That's that's not that's not what we're doing here. So, like, anybody that's in it, just hope these are your shares. Don't give – don't don't sell your share your share short because the premium changed. Uh, Dennis, as a, as a clear example, in June uh, – June, uh, yeah, yeah, June. June was like a $6,000 month for Dennis. This month – it's a $2,000 month. It's not the same 6,000 he just collected the month before, but the, but the, but the, but the round two of the COVID came and it, and it drove the prices down. So are we going to sell the stock back at a lower price than we bought it? Absolutely not. Am I going to keep collecting the premiums that they provide me? I'm going to do my damnedest to get every dime I can get off the board because what happens is when you when these stocks retrace, your balance is gonna go past beyond what it's showing today. So even if you say you 10,000 down, you keep collecting these premiums, you might collect $5,000 in premiums before the stock retrace, possibly. Not saying that that's the case, but that's a possible thing that may happen. You may collect, you may collect everything you spent in premiums before the stock even come back. It's a possibility. It, I'm saying it's not gonna happen, but it is a possibility that those things that happen. So when you when you follow the guidelines, right? You got good stock, good uh, 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 institutional uh, holdings, meaning any college endowment, any four hundred one k, any of those things. Those companies that buy into those stocks, they are buying those stocks for a reason. Two, two. Uh, uh, Billy was into uh, AAL. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was. I would say I looked at the chart for that before COVID. So, so uh, pre-COVID, AAL was trading at thirty dollars. Do I think it's going to go back there when everything goes back to normal? Absolutely. Um, just two months ago, I, I mean, not not two months ago, but probably a month ago, when everybody ran up on those premiums, when we thought that the stocks was going back home to roost. Everybody got caught right there because those premiums got real big and, and your eyes sometimes get big. But if you just remember, right, and and uh and this is what the starting five, and I I, I said this to Gerald uh two or three times early on, and I and I kind of like beat it to death. If if Billy had a five thousand dollar house that paid him say four hundred dollars a month, would he ever sell that house? Probably not. That's what AAL possibly continued to pay him until the retracement comes when it goes back to, it don't even have to, for Billy to profit, it doesn't even have to go back to 30 because he didn't get it there. He's just trying to get back to $18, mm -hmm. which is not an, it, which everybody knows the stock is going back to $18. I mean, it's American Airline. Now, if he had bought into Willie Bobo's lawnmower service, I would almost tell him that he might be in trouble. But seeing, seeing that he is in a good company, and the problem is everybody's so antsy because they want those premiums. They like, oh, I want a two or three hundred dollar premium. It's like, it's okay to take a forty dollar premium, small people. It's okay to take a fifty dollar premium. And 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 the reason why I tell you that, if you go listen to some of these videos from some of these professionals, they'll they'll talk to you about an eighty nine dollar premium on a thirty day. Call or put. Yep. 
And have y'all ever heard that? Man, all so, the time. So when y'all collecting a hundred and fifty dollar premium in a week, and you go, man, this is crazy, man. When I first started, it was it was two hundred dollars. It's like, hey, time out. Let's level set with each other right quick, because all you doing is collecting money, and and all you doing is just trying not to position yourself to where you get too greedy. Though that's what happens. You get too close. You you go outside your guardrails. And you get snatched by the boogeyman sometimes. But at the end of the day, you're in a good company. No need to panic. Just keep collecting the premiums day in and day out. It don't it don't matter. The stock is gonna retrace. So I just wanted to level set with everybody that if you go listen to the pros, if if you if you if you have been doing your homework and you just watch channel 46, you will hear those people. They are ecstatic that that they getting paid a ninety dollar premium thirty days from now, and th- and if they talk to you, you'll be like, "Hey, crazy." But that's but that's the real world. That's 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 what you know. You guys have got and gals have got accustomed to, you know, those big large premiums. One hundred and fifty dollars is a good premium. One hundred and twenty seven dollars is a good premium. If you follow the concept, right? You just think about it. Even in Nicola, right? All I did, Tony, all I did was told you tomorrow, go collect you nine times $170. That's all I said. I didn't I didn't tell you the world was ending. I didn't say, hey man, you gotta give up on your plan. All I'm saying is you have to rethink your weekly strategy now and, and go out and get keep collecting the money you can as safely as possible. There's no need to panic. All you got is time. That's all we. Everybody on this phone got time, and they and they. And you'll hear some people say, "Option trading is boring because you waiting all week or you waiting for thirty days." Some people like to set it and forget it. They they'll just do thirty day trading only, and they don't have to worry about it. But I know me. I like busy work. You all seem to like busy work, but there's no harm, no foul in going out two or three weeks. Putting your putting your putting your uh strike price back out there to where it was put to you and collecting that money. There's no there's no harm in that at all. Actually, it's a pretty smart thing to do. Mm-hmm. And I was looking at the chart, right? So I'm a I'm a switch gears there. I just wanted to speak to Tony and uh Billy, and I'm gonna grab Obasi here in a minute. Uh so AAL. And so just just going in looking at the chart. And it's a good thing and it shouldn't worry you because you already know like I do a what is it, six month chart. All right, so this right here the the stock was trading at 30 bucks. So in in hindsight if it got put to me at 18 all I'm going to do is collect whatever I can until the stock goes into a retracement pattern. But everybody know that this was COVID. Um, this June, when when everybody thought that the COVID was, was not over, but leveling out where the deaths were slowing down, which was a good thing. And uh, some of the cities had started to reopen. Everybody on this phone got caught in this right here. And when that happened, I can basically tell you, Billy was standing here, and the conversation that he had that week is not the conversation that he's trying to have with you this week. <laughs> but nope. there's no need to panic, even if so. Even even um, so, I I I have a few I have a few uh, buddies that I've been knowing for the last three years, and they all got caught in play. Now these guys been doing this a lot longer than me, but they got caught in play. And this is what they collect every week. I'm gonna show you this. Just so you know, you're not by yourself. Oh, I know, we we got eight contracts in play right now. Yeah, I had one in play. I got, uh, I think, five hours. Yeah, that's nothing all. There. And Let's you know what, that's, that's all they're gonna give you until mm-hmm. they do, until it, it, now, if a vaccine come out, mm-hmm. Play gonna go to twenty five dollars on you real quick. 
Yeah, I ain't going to even get on the board. You might as well don't even go that week. And that's why I was saying, hey, everybody, please text whatever vaccination uh, information you get. Because if you look at play, and, and Dennis, I almost, when we get to this part, I almost hate to, uh, <laughs> hate to say it. But it, it, it sounds crazy coming off the tongue, right? Because you're like, hey, man, just get the $5. And it's like, what? But think about it, though. It's still five dollars. Like you, you still just collected money. Like so, it, like don't 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 misunderstand where your stock value is versus the money. Just keep collecting the money, and when that stock retraces, your balance will be. It'll be it. You'll be right back where you want to be. So Delos. Yes, sir. We got a twenty. We got put to at twenty. And you, <laughs> you dang near got to open up the 19 and 20. Well, we got yeah, one and nine, a couple at 19 and 20. <laughs> you dang near got to open up the option chain in September <laughs> before, you even, before you even get, you know, $10. Right. right. So, yeah. so what you do is, G, hey, you just like, like, oh, is this next week? Hold on, which one did I open up? Oh, yes, yeah, next week. Okay. So, like, uh, what is it moving up? Because what's nothing this? there right There's there? There's nothing there. All hey, right, hey, so you ain't getting no love right there, big dog. Right, but right. if you go in there right now, if you, anybody want to go in there on Friday, uh, like tomorrow, you can get ten dollars at sixteen instead of five because it's gonna be five come Monday. Where you at? What 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 week you at? I'm in the very next week. The next week, August seventh. August seventh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm scared of that dog. Yeah. <laughs> what the sixteen dollars? Yeah, man, that thing ran up on me before. <laughs> I got me gunshot. <laughs> Oh no, man! <laughs> hey, hey, Dennis, 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 will tell you, man. I used to do that, Gerald. That was like one of my things when I was when I was first learning. I would, I would, man. It'd be Tuesday, and I'll run, I'll pay out. I'm like, I'm getting out of here because it'd be on me. Right. Mm -hmm. Come Friday, it's, it's two dollars back. back down from right. me. So mm -hmm. as I start teaching myself, I got till Friday. So I leave a little money on the sideline now, and then Friday come, I I'm, I feel confident I'm I'm good because I hey, saved hey. myself. Who was that? That was Chuck. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish up. Oh, I was gonna say you come in late, and then you got a question. <laughs> no. <that wasn't. laughs> uh, I've been on the call, man. I've been on the call. You, oh, okay. I was like Chuck need a uh, lunch ticket. He, no, he man. Died. I just be on this juror, man. I'm 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 ghost. Oh, you know? oh, okay. I'm playing ghost. I got you. All right, I'm so, the, hey, hey, I'm the boogeyman, okay? That's who he's scared of, you. the boogeyman. So, Baba Yeager. Baba Yeager. Uh, Baba Yeager. Yeah. Because cause you know what, Gerald? Like, from looking at this, right, I may go in and go at 15, man, and, and, and see what happens. But you, you eight I, I, days I, out, Delos. I mean, if you wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow oh. being Friday, that's just Saturday, Sunday. Right, right. Because right. if you if you wait till Monday, it ain't all gonna this gonna be different. This gonna be right. this this gonna be yeah. forty. This gonna yeah. be twenty. This gonna be yeah. ten, ten, mm -hmm. five, five. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna say, hey, because like right now, let me see if I had to buy it back. Say mm -hmm. say I got the five dollars, and this how they this how they keep you in it. This is so slick, man. Mm -hmm. To buy it back, the shit costs you five dollars. The same fat dollars they gave you over here, it cost you. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you can't buy it back because basically you ain't buy, you ain't do nothing that week. Yeah. So that's how they hold you tight. Yeah. 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 And it's like, come on, man. But um, this is interesting, though. Oh, oh, that's 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 the ass price, though. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's the ass. But that's how they keep you, Gerald. So I think I'm at like fourteen five. But I, I had got this five dollars, but now they not offering nothing for tomorrow. That's and to what I'm get, saying. Yeah, but right. to get out, but to get out, it costs you the same <laughs> five they gave you. Five. Right. <laughs> but but if you uh you know, sometimes they'll you know, people split their shares up. So then if you got like eight contracts, you'll do four on like Tuesday. And then place the other four into the next week on like a Friday. Okay. Yeah. That way you don't have them all in the same week. And you could right. at least came and got, you could at least came down here and got some of this. 
uh, well, the twenty dollars. Cause when everybody got caught, what 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 was they paying? They was paying like ninety, a hundred. It was high, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that and that's and that just came from uh let me see the same. I think if, if I look at this chart. Yeah, it was when everybody got their around the same calls. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was right, yeah, Billy around the same time. Yeah, it's everybody the got same, money playing. Yep. So what I want everybody to watch though, this right here will happen again. But this time you gotta play defense instead of offense. So you're not the running back or the wide receiver when this do it again. You're gonna have to be backtracking a little bit because when this run up on you, you don't want to have your your money on the table yet. That's why I have been waiting till Tuesday. Okay, so you're talking you talking specifically call side, not not okay. Yeah, because oh, when you're on the, when you're on the call side, yeah, because if you're on the put side, this would be great, right? Because yeah. the the the, the, mm-hmm. the number runs away from you, and you just sitting there possibly in a situation where you can buy it back and get closer. But when you're on the call side and that and that corona news come out, stay away. Is, stay stay out the market at least till Tuesday to see what's going on because it's gonna run up just like it did right here. And you don't want to be mm-hmm. caught with your shares up there and have to buy all that stuff back because that's what happened. Mm-hmm. You know, and like I said, Buying it back is not bad because you are getting the appreciation value along with that. So don't, if you got a bad back, it's not a bad thing, but you should be able to, as the stock rises, you're getting that appreciation as well. So you're not, it's basically, basically I'm trading five for five, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. So did anybody hear the news about this company Kodak or whatever? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Man. So they yeah. said if you had put a if you had a ten thousand dollar investment when it was at two dollars early that morning, yeah. by three o'clock that afternoon you would have made four hundred and forty some thousand dollars. Everybody, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of folks going to jail next week That's over there. <laughs> yeah. they go. they're going to jail. Yeah, I think it's something real to, sketchy, man. Hey, mm-hmm. they go to jail, I'm gonna be happy, but I don't think they go. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people going straight to prison on that. As soon as the FCC figure out what they did, it's going to, because somebody leaked that. Mm-hmm. And, well, and, I, uh, I don't know. I was um, in North Carolina and Kristen was telling me, I didn't realize the, the film industry, because I used to work with Kodak. And when Trump came to Raleigh for Fuji, I was like, Fuji? And she explained it to me. And I, so I had been looking at Kodak. I said, oh, it's so cheap. I should get one. I was telling him, Keith and Dana, I said, why I didn't get it when they said $6? Because I had waited and said, oh, it went from three to six. And I didn't do anything, but I wish I had. Yeah. Yeah. And so, Angela, those are some of the things that you go, you know, what's going to happen with the stock if they don't have the, uh, if they don't, if, if the uh, vaccine don't uh, plan pan out for them, right? right. Yeah. Well, already, I, I just wanted to get the pre, get my mm-hmm. little premium, and then I'd have been gone. I'm, oh I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can move. Angela, <laughs> Angela, Angela ain't playing. That was a good strategy, though. <laughs> no, I just, no, I'm, I'm not I, that. I'm not that good yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's why I try to read everything I get my hands on because, like. They, some people said it was on Google for like two weeks prior to this all happening. Mm. Some people, like my little brother texts me about it like the two days before it happened. So some pe- somebody knew something. Somebody knew something. Yeah, but for me, I'm so straight lined arrow of a person, it wouldn't have checked none of the boxes. So I'd have just been watching everybody else, which is fine, I, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna be able to eat all the fruit that fall from the tree. Uh, yeah. So I, I would have been fine with it, but it, it did make a tremendous jump. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it went it went through the roof there. Yep. So Mr. Obasi, uh welcome to your first week, sir, of trading. Hey, hey Muffin, how you doing? So how how did you uh how you feel, man? Was y'all able to sleep over there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For a minute there, the screen was so dark. I was saying, "Boy, they must have lost that money." Carlton told them they had to cut the lights off. 
I said, Carlton, Mr. Carlton ain't letting y'all have no lights on over there. That's how Bossy likes sitting in the dark. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yep. Remind me of somebody I know, Ambria, that live here with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, but old Bossy, tell him it was a ride, though, wasn't it? It was, a, it was a photo finish last Friday. I was losing my mind. <laughs> we yeah, was all, we got okay. Workhorse, and it was looking kind of sketchy, but it turned uh, out. Workhorse? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, what's workhorse symbol? H, I mean, W. W K H F. Are you back in them, Obasi? You never let me know this week. No, this week I got into MVM. Did a little fun, fundamental analysis. I'm sorry, I don't think there was an uptrend. So I said, let me get into MGM. I know I was telling you that about Tuesday. So they are now. They still, you know, they they went up a little bit, came down. They're still going up. So I should cancel out tomorrow. You know, pretty clear. Yeah, we we'll we'll look at MGM next because I I think uh, Tony was you in that originally. No, I didn't have enough. I had was, uh, I had win. We're gonna look at win because win win did some good. Um, I was watching it the other day. All right, so we in workhorse. Workhorse is uh, trading at sixteen dollars right now. Um, do a summary. Another one. Just to uh-huh. keep an eye on is Fastly, F-S-L-Y. It was at 60-something Tuesday. It's at 92 today. Jesus. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I got I got a leap in workhorse. You got a leap? Does everybody mm-hmm. on the phone know what a leap is? Yeah. Everybody knows what a leap is. Okay, I don't want to leave anybody out. Even if we got to go back, even if we got to go back five steps, everybody on the call has got to go back five steps. But I did want to point this out. This is something new that uh, TD Ameritrade <laughs> put on their website. So has anybody noticed that they put this up here? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So when yep. we all first started with on the call, this was not available. Mm-hmm. So this is called Smart Score, and um, it's just something new. I just found it uh, fascinating a little bit that so this company is at a neutral. Um. And and some of these you have to take and you want to read into like so these articles. I, I do this with Boeing a lot. I'll read these articles over here. Anybody anybody ever take time to click on any of these? Yes. Yeah. All right, good. Good deal. Good deal. Good practice. All right. So um workhorse. Um not really familiar with workhorse, but I have been hearing the term on the uh I, on the uh the 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 uh the, the tweets or whatever I call it tweets, but the text and uh, everybody, what what does Workhorse do? Electric trucks. Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, with the truck, yeah, electric trucks. Yeah, in the electric yeah. industry sector. Yeah. Okay. All right, Obasi. So, um, these don't look these don't look bad at all. Anybody else in Workhorse? No, I had Workhorse last week. I had them last week. Yeah, today. Uh, you say you got something today? No, I sold mine today. I was on the uh, call. I I was on the call side, but I sold it today. Okay. Did you did you profit from it, Keith? I, I did. Well, what I did was I had a, a fifteen point five, mm-hmm. and uh, I needed the money. I needed the money, so I <laughs> cashed out uh, for it. So what I did was I bought my call back, but I waited and it went up about another sixty-five cents. So I actually made money for sure. Okay. All right. So Bossy, uh, this workhorse, what, what, what's your strike point? Uh, this was last week. I already fell out of it last Friday, but the strike point I think was at fifteen. So ended up making like thirty-eight dollars somewhere around there. $38? But again, these are prices for uh, this week I'm in MGM. So we waiting for tomorrow to see. But it's looking pretty good. So what uh what what did you pick up from MGM? Uh another 15 strike point, but at the time it was trading at like 1575, I think, because on Monday they had dropped. But you know, it looked again, it looked like an uptrend. So I went ahead and popped in and they've been going up since then. So Yep, yep. No, good deal, man. And they, yeah. they let me know that Gerald and Chuck 
uh, brought you up straight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me look bad, Obasi, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey Delos, have you? Yes. Has anybody got in uh, CZR? I was going there. I was going to go there, Chuck. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, does everybody know what CCR did like a month ago? Was it two weeks ago, Chuck? ERI. Yeah, ERI. Yeah, ERI. Yeah, ERI they merged. Yeah, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull them up next. Yeah, because I looked at ERI. I couldn't. It, it was crazy. They're it's dead. CZR now, Angela. Yeah. The CCR, uh, C -Z -R. C -Z -R. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll pull it up here, Angela. Yeah. Uh, Obasi, did you uh, do you want to share what what your premium was for uh, this past week? Um, right now, I think we are around in the same range of like thirty eight, thirty nine dollars, but it really depends on what happens tomorrow. So, okay, what the finished product gonna look like? Okay. Um, okay, so that's good. That's good. So it seems like you got a good grasp of what's going on. So from the training that Gerald and Chuck provided you, uh, seemed like you picked it up pretty good. I know Keith, Keith came through that. Basically everybody on the call, uh, us outside of Gerald and Chuck and Dennis and Tony pretty much, uh, the training. So I just wanted to ask that did, did did everybody was it easy to understand? Does everybody understand the concept? Does everybody feel confident that they know what they're doing to the point where they can make a, a, a decision on their own if they had to? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So um I do want to say this that workhorse um what is it? Workhorse, Tony, keep me straight. What is it? Helion? Helion, Nicola, 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 S H L L. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be Helion. It's right there. That's Tortoise acquisition right yeah. now, but yeah. they're going to do the merger and that's going to become Helion, uh, I think, the end of September, the third quarter. Um, like I say, yeah, there's quite a few in the EV sector with Tesla and Nikola, Helion, Workhorse, uh, uh, it's a bunch of them. Because what I, what I do want to say is like, uh, so the, the runner, who, so from the information that you all have read, who do you think going to be the next runner up? Well, I just, that SHLL, I just took out a leap on them. Yeah, um, I was going to say SHLL, I think. I think because they've, they, they've got uh, over in Germany, I think some trucks gone. Uh, they're, they're, they're doing the transaction right now with it's a fourteen thousand dollars to upgrade any truck Volvo, uh, freight Freightliner. Uh, then they're coming out with the new ERX. Uh, that's okay. Gonna be running. So so I think yeah they're gonna be uh, you know I'm kind of putting them ahead of uh, Nikola, you know so yeah. And uh, their CEO is pretty sharp. He's an engineer. Uh, he uh, they've got money, no debt. You know, so I think they're going to be the, the thing. What's the name? If you want to, uh, I don't think Workhorse is going to be bad. What they're doing is like <laughs> they have a different technology where they use the electrical. And so what they do, they can take their technology and go to a company and say, okay, you got to transform yourself into these emission control and use this right here. So they saying that you can use your truck already that you got. We put this, we're going to add this electrical vehicle motor to your back of your rear vehicles, and you cool, you'll pass the emissions up. All the time you need to use your diesel is when you need to charge them batteries up, so you're going to pass that emission. So actually, nobody in there, they have no competitors doing this. That's why they're probably going to win a lot of the UPS support. So they actually, there's no peers that they have, but they do have, like you said, Helium. They're on a different level, and uh, I'm not gonna, right, they're on a different level, too. But they actually in their own environment when you're talking about who's their peers. They they on their own, so that's what makes them kind of stick out. So I'm gonna get back in them actually. But they they their they their own kind of entity because no US American company can do what they're doing right now. And right. they just and they, won something from California, HPIV something for clean air. Oh, and that that's workhorse, right? Yes. Wow, that's that's uh I didn't know I didn't know that about workhorse. 
but I, I figured I figured I would ask. But now I'm I'm interested in uh, maybe maybe getting a, a a couple hundred shares myself. But that that's impressive. Um, and that's that's why we had these meetings, right? So, uh, from week in and week out, you know, I won't just go through pressing buttons or whatever. We'll just look at stuff because I think we all up to speed now on just basically having conversations about kind of what we all what we all into. Um, and I just want to F S L Y. Uh, what is it? F S L Y. Fast. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, and right. also, Delos, uh, maybe next meeting, you said you was going to drill down a, a meeting or two ago on swing trades, and we never really did a deep dive on that. Yeah, and I and I and what I and what I was going to do is uh, I was waiting on uh, December because I, I wanted to I wanted to kind of I'll talk about the swing trade probably next. Well, I'll do it next week. Okay. Um, but I did want to have like a little contest. But I just wanted to make sure everybody kind of wanted to participate. <laughs> so I'm gonna take five thousand dollars. You we'll wanna do that in this market right now, big dog? This 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 no, uh, we gonna, quick we gonna wait, market. We're gonna wait till December. Cause I, okay, I know this I know this go this gonna be like a little start the year off with a little friendly competition. We just gonna take if I'm I'm assuming everybody got say ten thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. We gonna we gonna do a contest, and I and I'm I want you to keep the charts, keep them current. Whoever 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 profits the most in the month of uh, January, I'm gonna get them the five thousand dollars because this is what I want to do. I want to be able to make sure that everybody doing the right thing. Gonna have brothers running outside them guardrails. All <laughs> <laughs> but 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 maybe I'm maybe. But but check this out. Let to make it fair. How about I pick the five stocks that you have to use? Ah, ah. I like that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. then we'll know. Yeah, who got who who took risk? I like that. Yeah, because. Yeah. Cause it may not be, it may not be in a month's time. It may not be the guy that got the biggest premium. Right. Low and steady wins the race. Yeah. Low and steady wins mm-hmm. the race. But that's just been something that I, I, I was like, yeah, I think it's time for me to do it. So you know, like that, uh, that Oliver Velez guy. He, uh, he actually, the team that he trains, he actually lets them. Tr- trade his own capital or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I just thought it would be a good friendly, mm-hmm. a good friendly uh little thing. Just something to, not something nice to kick the year off. Yeah, he but brought one of his one of his students, I guess, a new Porsche. Um oh yeah, that guy probably made him a ton of money. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's a it's a lot it's a lot of that going on because like as you as you grow capital and the reason why I want to have this is because once you have the confidence then you you don't even worry about the money that you're putting in, and like I always use the house theory, cause that cause honestly, if you look at your four hundred one k, it it probably hasn't moved a whole lot in the last two months. No, mm. it's it's probably it's hit and miss. It's stagnant. Yeah, it's real stagnant. And so, uh, what I what I was trying to do was say, hey, I can now grow my own account better than the people that's at Fidelity you know, playing around in a mutual fund that's buying stuff that's unsecure. Uh, they they investing into stuff that I wouldn't invest in myself. But you did but you didn't think you had a you didn't think you had a say so so you kinda just let it ride. But uh more to come on that competition, but I think I think it's official. I just gotta figure out how to make it fair where where, where everybody can uh stay within the guardrails. But I uh, wanted to talk about this uh, fastly since I got it up, but I just wanted to throw that out there. And Gerald, um, I got a notebook behind me. I'm gonna write that down about the swing trade because we can talk the whole hour about that uh, next next week. Next week, yeah. Uh, but this fastly, right? So uh, Jeanette said they were like at sixty dollars, and now they're trading at uh, woo. 
Ooh. Yeah, they're a cloud. They're a cloud computing company, storage, cloud storage. And no. um, I was looking at Zach's something. I can't remember. They're analysts, <clears throat> and um, they were saying that now. Just mind you, their earnings report is next Thursday. Next Thursday. I was about to say that. So I'm glad Jeanette made that point because you guys see these premiums right here. Yeah, dog. That that is that is how we all got swept into the river by one <laughs> premium. <laughs> Open it all the way up, Delos. You got to uh, hear the money. Yeah. Now, when I was reading it, the Zacks, the analysts, were talking about their um, their earnings call. Um, Fastly talked about how much they were going to make, but Zacks is actually giving them more year over year, the percentage that they're earning. And they tr and they got uh, ranged their companies in regards from one to five, one being very good, and they rated Zach's a one. Wow. I but mean, Zach rated Fastly a one. And this is impressive. So look how far it's you can bring back. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah. This is what we came up on right here, y'all. Right. <laughs> And when this corona over with, Angela, trust me, yeah. this, you're going to be staring at stuff like this on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I get some money, <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep going first. Yeah, but but this is, look how far you can be back, man. It's still uh, yeah. get like, I know. Yeah, 81. Right. Yeah, $320 cool. at 81, yeah. Yeah. Woo-wee. How about well, that? Yeah, what, I don't what know what I'll be doing. Next week? It's next week, and they're next early. week, next Thursday, Thursday yeah. Yeah. or something, if I'm not mistaken. But you can hit them and quit them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See that? That's my strategy. What's the yeah, symbol? F F U F L Y F L Y. Tony, Tony, I'm, right, I'm writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right, Mike. So, so Jeanette, do you mind sharing with everybody like how you even found this one? That from Carmesha. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, of course you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is she at school? No, she's on a call. Another oh. one she gave me is AMD. Yes. Oh. I've been watching them. APT. These are little things she goes in and does these covered calls on, and she gets in and gets out of them because they they were moving up. So, yeah, no, this is a this is APT here. Um, so it didn't cost you a hundred company. Yeah, so this a bossy. So here go one here. Uh, you can drill down into it, Obasi, a little bit more, or call your cousin on the phone and see what she knows about it. Do your research. Uh, you yeah, should be on the friend sometime. Yeah, because you can come in here. You know, I will be way back here. 18.5, I'll grab that $62 and uh, uh, let that be. Uh, in most cases, you know, people grab mo a couple more shares. They'll do two or three contracts, but not not bad here either. AMD is a good company. AMD is a, uh, their <laughs> chips are in everything. Yeah, uh, well, a lot of those are uh, doing well because the schools are not opening and we have to provide these computers and the cheaper ones normally have yeah. the AMD. Yeah. Oh, so. Angela, Angela, you, Angela hit the nail completely on the head with that comment right there. And Lisa mm. Sue, the CEO, was on Squawk Box yesterday morning. Yeah, does everybody find themselves watching Channel 46 a little bit more than they did in the past? Yeah. It's the only station I got. <laughs> <laughs> you watching like ESPN, watching the loop. <laughs> yeah. The but, other one, uh, guys, DKNG. I was I've been looking into them. DraftKings. They just uh, merged together, and um, they're DKNG. And DraftKings, yeah, yeah. I was watching them for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I just want to throw one out there, right? That I think is uh, they pay a dividend too. Um, this, and so what I what I want everybody to do, what like start doing when you start looking up some of the companies is, and I know Gerald and uh, Chuck shared this with everybody. 
go to that invest relations page, right? Because this is where you find a lot of stuff. So check this out. And I know uh, this kind of this kind of threw me for. Uh, I was gonna make a joke. I would say this kind of threw me for a leap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Expedia. Boom, bing. All right. Uh, so I did not know that they owned all these other companies. So Expedia. Their earnings report, there, there was a call. I recorded it because I'm going to listen to it. It came out at 430. But look at all the stuff that they got. Mm -hmm. Travago, HomeAway, VRBO, mm -hmm. uh, Hotels.com, uh, Hotwire, Travelocity. All these companies, all these companies are under their umbrella. Wow. I didn't know that. Come on. No, me neither. And the reason what sparked my interest about it, like all these cheap tickets.com, car rental.com. And the reason why I sparked my interest is because of this. They're in the same boat with bookings. And you see, uh, you see bookings price. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm. So I found out from a friend of mine that Expedia over the last couple of years start buying up all those other companies so they can compete with booking. Wow. And what they start doing was all those companies that they start buying, they started, um, they were, they were doing advertisement. They were getting advertisement dollars from everybody, everybody and their mother, kind of what Facebook does, how Facebook gets paid through advertising money. So they bought up all those other companies to get all that advertising dollars. Uh, Verizon is another company that's doing that now. Are they, um, appear, right, are they appear right now? Uh, they So so when Gerald asked that question, right, if you go do peer comparison, so if you pull up any company and you want to see what other company is in their, in their peer group, you can just go right here to this tab. Everybody see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. so you just click peer comparison and it'll pull up. So they got, I don't know what, Wayfair? I don't know why this would be just their peer group. Etsy and Remark Holdings. Makes no sense. Etsy? Yeah, I don't understand this one. Because Wayfair, Etsy, and I, I've never heard of Remark Holdings. Oh, wow. That's a little strange. Yeah. But if you look at if you look at booking.com, I mean booking holdings, if you go to their options chain, it's probably gonna be off the rector scale. Oh damn. <laughs> oh, <geez. Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And that's and that's where Expedia, right? Expedia is trying to get there. They bind up everything they can. And so, like, here go Expedia. Mm -hmm. Expedia $84. Now, Expedia just had a, uh, a earnings report that came out uh, at 4.30 today. Mm. Now, what I like about Expedia is, um, outside of me finding out they own all those companies, um, it's, it's a couple analysts that I follow and they all like have great reviews about Expedia and we'll look at Expedia's chart, right? So we're gonna go look at the chart. It kind of it kind of follows the same chart that, um, uh, hold on. So basically the whole COVID dip situation but also in June, look what Expedia did. Expedia got back up to like a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. So okay. as soon as the Corona news, they as soon as the conversations start start coming out that it's under control, they start you know. So baseball has started. 
uh, mm -hmm. basketball is being played. So they're trying to create some type of normalcy, right? To get people back into the groove as safely as possible. But this COVID dip happened, and then this 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 uh, resurgence here kind of started to take place again. And you know they were they were at like 120, 130 on a 52 week high. But seeing that they own all those other companies and they getting advertisement dollars, I felt that it was need to kind of share that share that with the team too. Uh, Expedia is a, a good company to be invested in right now. Um. Let me see. Hey, Delos, uh, I know we're uh, getting close to that time, but I uh, want to know if you could probably cover the airlines. I'm looking at uh, uh, probably, you know, getting some stair shares to hold on to or buying a leaf. And I know Dennis, Dennis, I think Dennis has got some airline stock too. Yeah, but, I like uh, But I know you're big on uh, United, and I haven't done my fun fundamental or technical analysis, but I'm probably looking at American, United, Delta, and Southwest. Uh -huh. and I know you're big on United, but uh, is that the only one that you're in, or why did you uh, why, why you why you kind of go with them? Uh, so I basically I basically was um, uh, you United and Delta, United, uh, Delta, United Delta. United primarily because uh, um, they were trading at like ninety three bucks, I believe, before all of this happened. So let me look. Okay, so the fifty-two week average and stuff. Or, like I said, I haven't yeah. looked at it, uh, but I was gonna compare and, uh, and see. Yeah. yeah, and they had they had real high. Uh, so basically, well, you got. Let me see if I do a year to date chart because it was above. Yeah, here we go. So this this the price, mm -hmm. and you can see over here the prices have changed where I put the cursor over here, but. They were trading in closer to like 90 bucks. So when it fell down to like $20, you know, I had got some. Then what happened was it kind of went sideways a little bit. You know, it was it was doing some little like right here it was $34 or whatever. But in June again, when the whole COVID stuff started to wind down, it took this little, it took this turn, I would say, for the good. And then the second round of Corona came and came back down, but I like UAL, I like Delta. Delta, Delta, okay. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and uh, I can I can stomach uh, uh, American Airlines too. Mm -hmm. um, American probably not gonna make it. They're talking uh, about they don't even have enough. Uh, their uh, their monies are so they don't think they're gonna make it to hold out. Everybody else could make it. They were saying could hold out till next year, but. Um, they don't think American is going to be able to stomach that. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering with this second wave of uh, stimulus, like mm -hmm. wouldn't that put them in position to to be able to be successful? And they're based there. So like Delta is based in Atlanta, Georgia. American mm -hmm. Airlines is pretty much a West Coast airline company. And then it's, they are in some of the biggest cities in the world, Texas. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Arizona, California. So I'm like, I would think that they would be in the same shape as any of the others, but uh, I think they have a lot of um, international flights, and with with um, with China oh, up in the air with everybody, and then nobody wants to let the U.S. in. It's causing a lot of problems. That's, that's why I said Southwest is really good. I'm looking at Southwest. Yeah, I fly uh, Southwest. I like Southwest. Mm -hmm. I fly, because fly Southwest is um, is always going to keep us steady. You know what I'm saying? They're going to always be consistent. They're following the rules. Uh, United is okay. You know, you've got some people who are saying, well, we're not going to have to social distance. Um, I just flew Southwest and they were yeah. just saying, nope, you're going to, yeah. you couldn't even yeah. get there. The lady said, my mask in my purse. She said, well, you can step back there, put your mask on and then come on back up here. Mm -hmm. And so they were really good about making sure people didn't yeah. sit next to each other. There's yeah. always open seating. Yeah. Um, and they yeah. do do some of your um, your islands and stuff, but they're mm -hmm. not going across seas. And the going across seas is going to be the big problem. When people yep. start letting the, uh, us go back in, do they want the Americans to come? And we don't get this stuff together. They, they are saying no. I mean, I, I tried to get some flights while they're cheap. And they're saying, uh-uh, you know, you're going to have to call the airport. And they're still saying no. So you couldn't even buy tickets. 
So. Yeah. Now, didn't a lot of them get some bailout money or was going to get some bailout money probably? or? Yeah, some okay. of them are spoke, they're asking for some more money. I know America was asking for some more because they were saying they didn't think they were going to make it through. Uh, okay. They're projecting the rest of them to make it at least to next year and then take off. Um, Boeing was talking about that with them uh, yesterday mm -hmm. on um, uh, about them selling their planes. So they're projected in three years that they'll jump back up and then they'll be buying more planes and the uh, airlines will be taking off with them. Yeah. But okay, I don't I'll probably, know. Yeah, I'll probably check out Delta United and Southwest. So. Yeah, I got a uh, Southwest up. The uh, symbol is love, L-U-V. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, I fly them all the time. Yeah, I love, I love right. Southwest. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, because yeah, Evelyn just, she just flew Southwest and like I say, they left the middle seat open. And she came mm. back on American and she said it was jam packed. Yeah. Yeah, people, yeah. You know, Everywhere. We had, mm. Yeah, we had 65 people on the flight. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, well, you want me to skip this row? She said, baby, everybody should have a seat by themselves. It's 65. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no sense of bunching up. But I know when we came out of Atlanta, uh, it was a little more crowded, but they still kept that middle seat open. Mm -hmm. And, um, so. you know, they're not taking your bags at the mm -hmm. gate or anything. Everything has to be done on the inside. And they got they got enough people in there and they're spacing them out. Mm -hmm. And the other airlines were pretty crowded. Uh, Delta's going to be mm -hmm. okay because Delta's going to do international. And, and when it's not doing international, it's still flying everywhere else. So, you know, I, mm -hmm. I think they'll be okay. I, I think most of them, I'm just kind of worried. I'm going to keep watching American and listening to American. what they said about their... Uh, What's going on with them? But um, yeah. Delta talking about doing a buyout, employee buyout too. Delta is. Yeah, okay. somebody else. Uh, Fifteen thousand employees. They're talking about buyout. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, a, pick, I'm gonna pick uh, some shares up. I said it's after seven. Yep. I know yep. you gotta go. Yep. go. Yeah, um, but I did want to. Uh, so I want to ask this right before I leave. So. Um, Anybody that uh, wants to go to the money show that's going to be held in November, I think I saw that come out. Gerald, I think Gerald sent that to everybody if you all wanted to attend. Um, did anybody um, uh, do the virtual? Did, did anybody try to do the virtual or have to call Kathy back with the money show to find out how they were going to roll, uh, roll the payments? No, I just emailed her and asked her to roll mine over, and she said, no problem. So she responded back to you? Yes, she yeah. did. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to leave everybody with this. And Dennis, I got to call you later, because mm -hmm. I think we got to reschedule you. Mm -hmm. um, um, damn it. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, go on themoneyshow.com, and they have... They have webcasts and like uh, videos, like little 15 minute videos, little 10 minute videos. They're pretty good. I've, I've listened to a few of them. And so I just got in the habit on my way to work. I'll just listen to a, a couple of uh, the ep episodes that they have. And I do want to leave everybody with, uh, if, and I know, Gerald, you've seen a couple of the videos of The Wealthy Investor by uh, Tyrone Jackson. Uh, the guy's pretty easy to follow. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I like him. Yeah, he, he's pretty easy to follow. And if you go to the wealthy, wealthyinvestor.com and go scroll all the way down to the bottom of his page and you just click the podcast, they got, you can just, he's got a bunch of little 25 minute uh, segments and he's just talking about a, a financial education, right? Mindset. And he'll, he'll talk about cover calls and stuff like that. But he, he's really good, easy to follow. Uh, uh, Dorian uh, sent out a video early on, uh, the Oliver Velez guy. If, you, if you're into charting, he, he's, uh, he's awesome in his approach and how he kind of explains charting. Um, and uh, the Money Show. So the Money Show, they have podcasts and webcasts. And TD Ameritrade also has... Uh, podcast webcast so i just want to leave you with a few things to kind of pick up during the week and next week uh everybody god bless stay good and we're going to talk about swing trade next week mm -hmm. all right, all right. Well, thanks, all right.
Okay. Right. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.